Hello everybody, the one one Panda here and welcome back to another episode of well, Let's Play 4 The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we helped out a uh like the Patino village, I think it was about like where we had the, had like a mayoral election there and we helped both of the people like wanting to be the mayor out and uh Got everything solved there, and we also had headed over here. We, we headed over somewhere else where we wanted to help out the the band troop to help out one of the great fairies, and uh, we're here to this drummer guy that we need to talk to. So let's talk to him. <laughs> but um, but um, but um, but um, beat um, yeah. Come on, but um, but um, but um, buzz, but uh, buzz, uh, buzz, um, buzz, uh, buzz, uh, buzz, uh, buzz, um. What are you doing? Whoa, hey, don't inter interrupt. I'm busy calling bees with my beat. Huh? Come on, don't look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See, the conductor in the mu musical troupe I play in has been a little down. I fig figured I'd make him honey creeps, but that should cheer out our my Meister right up. Mm. But I can't get my hands on any cur course or be honey. How am I supposed to make honey creeps without the honey? That's why I'm trying to lure some bees in with my beat. I only need our three combs of honey. Aww. Someone said that there are some beehives around Kakariko Village in the, to the north, near that huge pop hall, hole that opened up. But that hole is pretty scary. The only way I'm going anywhere near there. The honey bee mine. <coughs> Wait a second, what's that I smell? Something sweet? Hey, maybe in your pouch there. Here, have some honey. No. <coughs> What are, all right, my bee doesn't didn't reach the bees, but I guess it's got you moving. With these, I can whip up a honey crew for the conductor of my troop on the double. Here's a little something for helping me out. Take it, all the all yours. Silver rupee. What did you say? The stable tr trotters are back in action. Then what am I doing here? They needed me to to bring bring the rhythm. I don't know where they are, but if I hit up every single stable, I'll run into them sooner, sooner or later. I sh it shouldn't be long before I can offer the troop leader my services again. Hey. Well, till next time, if there's a next time, see you. Okay, so right away that quest is done now, so let's uh, head back over here to... Uh, what's that thing? Yeah, the Dueling Peak Stable. Okay, now let's head back down where the stable is. And here we are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a man of the hour. Look at this. Or rather, listen. It's Beats, our stalwart drummer, Beats, has returned. Oh, a sorry true true leader I am, making my band members worry about me that way. What they really ought to be worried about is our declining audience. Yeah, yeah. But the beating heart of the stable charters pulses once more. Three cheers for our own beats. Every member is essential to our signature sound. Together we are not just the stable charters, and my heart will always be yeah, yeah. the stable gallopers. You've done so much for us. I hardly know where to begin. Let me start with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> and thank you! That's five thank yous from the five of us. Yeah, yeah. Attention everyone, this is a new star for the stable charters. May our performances let the great fairies know all travelers. No, no, every, let everyone in the world be washed in, in sweet, soothing music. music. Uh -huh. I'm brimming over with happiness to the point that I can't keep a lid on it. And I must say, it's a good thing to see friendly face. One with no doubt shares my concern for the great fairy. Great fairy? Oh. I must be... Again, I merely assume because the great fairy Kateri has such a notable attraction to the Dueling Peak stable. Alas, the, the local great fairy hasn't emerged from our flower bud in quite some time. I'm sure she's scared to come out, just like the great fairy at a woodland, woodland stable. She used to listen to beats of the drum so fondly. Hearing this lively beat again will just be just the thing that to cheer her up, but. The bridge to the Great Fer Fairy is broken. How, how are horses supposed to cross? Oh. Yo, if the bridge is no good, how about we cross the river? Yeah, yeah. That's right, we can cross the river. To the river, everyone, all together now. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm sure the Great Fairy will give her your blessing when she wakes up. If you have the time, I'd be honored if you could be there for our performance. Alright, so now let's head over here. The bridge is a bus, but I thought it might be not be so hard to cross the river. I see now that I was mistaken. E even if we took our off our breezers, wet wheels, and floated across the river, the current would run, run that plan aground. The Great Fairy is so near, but yet so far. I have absolutely no, no idea what to do. The Great Fairy is over there. I'm sure she's scared to come out, just like the Great Fairy will and say, well, yeah, I know. The bridge is no use at all. The breezer was built so f for traveling roads, not rivers. If we try to force it, we'd all sink before we reach the Great Fairy's side. Okay, well, I have something to do about that. So, if we take these two these wheels... And then attach this up here. And then... Oh, come on! I just attach everything and bring it to towards us. Okay, so now... We take... Uh, let's just take one of these. So let's place this here and place this on this, and then bring the wheel here. And wait, hang on, I need to get this out of the way of that rock. Put the steering wheel <clears throat> right here. Wait, uh, come on, attach them. And now tell them we're ready. Here, hop in, I'll take you. Touch joy, elation. Everyone get on board before he changes his mind. Take this on the water. And now we go. No, wait, I don't want to talk to you. Off we go. The Great Fairy. Places everyone, please, places, the Great Fairy needs us!
There she is! Were you pretending to be Mario all, all of a sudden? Oh, we've done it! Yo, Yazo, I think my heart just picked up the tempo. The musical stylings of the stable trotters are a cure for anyone's malaise. Whatever that word means. Thank you once again. We're prepared to talk enough thanks so substantial that I hope your pockets are double stitched. You deserve every last bit of it. Still a simple civil rupee. And now that my own pockets are lighter, I can concentrate on the performance. Our musical trio has finally performed for all the great fairies. I've moved. I'm, I'm inspired. I'm beside myself with joy. Ah. Thank you so much for not giving up on for forging on, despite all the obstacles. Every time the great fairies emerge in response to our, to our music, it gave us all, the, all us in this troop confidence of, in our playing. Ah. If you want to hear, ever want to hear my beats, stop by a stable. If you're there, I'll give you a rhythm, rhythm to remember. Ah. The show's not over, over. Far from it. We're just getting started. We'll keep playing and making audience same, smile all, all over the kingdom. Uh. It's up to us to pour all our thoughts and feelings into our music when we play. From now on, I want, I want our music to suit every traveler who comes to the stables, not just the great fairies. Oh. I consider you an honorary me member of our grand stable charters troop. Might I know your name? Oh. Like, yeah. hmm, so that's what we can call the hero who saved our grand troop. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. Sure, I will surely remember. Our group grand troop will continue playing for one and all under a new name. We are the Stable Trotters no more. Yeah, yeah. In honor of this genuine heroes, hero, we're let's be known as the Stable Heroes. All right. <laughs> but what a feeling! That first breath of fresh air, just so intoxicating. The beat of the drum has a lit fire deep in my heart. Mm. And what about you? Can you feel the heat? Are you ready for more? Allow me to enhance your clothing, it's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Huh? Yeah, of course I can't do anything. See you later! <laughs> hey -ya! All right, so now we have this great fairy uh, rescued, so, or just like taken out of it, whatever. But I, I'm gonna try and look for another quest that I can do, so be right back. Okay, so where we need to go for our next quest is all the way over to, uh, yeah, here, the Thyflo Ruin Skyview Tower. Okay, now we need to go over here and talk to this guy. Hey, hello, my brother in research. I was waiting for you. You were? That's right. I'm the one who discovered these big ruins way out here. But I wasn't able to match, make much, much progress investigating them. Aww. I'm the only one Hylian, and this, alas, is not a one Hylian job. That's why I wrote this to the Zonai survey team, asking them to dispatch a researcher to assist me. Aww. And here you are, practically right after I sent my letter. Great response time. <laughs> what? You're not a, Z a Zonai t survey team researcher? You're just some guy? I see. Mm. So few people come through here. I assumed you had to be the assistant I asked for. My mistake. After all the trouble I've gone to, can't they send one assistant to help my, with my monolith research? Monolith research? Mm. Oops, did you hear that? Sorry, I scrubbed that from your brain. It's not meant to be public knowledge. Mm. You were, were from the Zonai survey team. I can tell you about all about what I've discovered so far, but you're not, so... Let me help. Mm. Mm, I appreciate the offer, but that's really not allowed. Then again, though he might not be a researcher, he does have the look of an adventurer about him. Maybe his expertise will get things back on track. Oh. You know what? You're hired. For this project alone, I'm pointing you as my research assistant. Come on, let's find out what secrets these ruins are hiding. Ah. Well then, we can dive right in. I'll start by showing you what my research has uncovered so far. Wait here. Oof. Take a look, I think you're, you'll be pretty surprised by this discovery. Investigate the Thyflo Ruins. Display the power of the Sage of Wind and the Owl protected by many dragons. Uh -huh. eh, aren't you surprised? Yeah, wow! Mm -hmm. 
Right, right? Oh. The Zonai were an ancient heat civilization with their own system of writing. Almost no one living could take it today can read Zonai script. But you can read the inscription on that mon monolith, right? That's because it's written in Hyrulean. Mm. Though these art rules appear to be Zonai in origin, they feature a text written in modern Hyrulean. How could that be? Who built the, these ruins and for what purpose? Ah. This is just a possibility, but the monoliths that were found might be pointed to a spot somewhere in the, the, in the ruins. You and me, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I need you to find that spot. There we might yeah, find another monolith that tells us why these ruins were built. Uh -huh. uh, it's just a hunch, but it's also your boss's hunch, so... Yo, protected by dragons, so two old quests. Display the power of the Sage of Water in the presence of the six dragons. Hmm. There was a small ring of dragon head statue some, somewhere, wasn't there? Ominous place. Where was that again? Three quests, the six dragons. Oh, we're just getting three different quests right, left and right. So where we first need to go is over here. We have to... There's a gust of wind here. We're on top of it! Now, let's see what's inside this chest. Sapphire times three. Now that quest is done. So now let's, uh... Equip this one, the six dragons. Okay, I guess we can go back here. And wait, what? It's supposed to be a second stone. Okay, so apparently I can't continue on with this quest because I don't have uh, the Goron with me. I haven't completed that whole area yet, so. We're gonna have to save this one till later, but I do know of another quest that we can do, and it's actually up. Uh, here so let's go over to this shrine so like we're going back to the very beginning of the game okay um wait hang on oh crap i wanna i haven't taken a picture of you here we go And I want to take a picture of this thing over here. Just doing that as I'm like walking around heading towards the... Where I'm supposed to go. Uh... Yeah, over here. Uh, nope, come on. Let's get up here. Wait, is this a new guy? No, it's the same one. So if we go up here and ascend up this way. I messed up on where I'm supposed to get up. <sighs> Dang it, I'm sure I did. I think I'm supposed to ascend a bit further than that. Like so? Yeah, here we go. 
Are you serious? Okay, here we go. Let's talk to you. I've been waiting for you. My purpose is to conduct a ceremony to test the strength of any visitors. Those who pass are told the story of the great sky island. I said to you are qualified to attempt the ceremony. Please inform me when you are prepared to begin. Legend of the great sky island. Are you ready to attempt the ceremony so that you might hear the story? Yes, I'm ready. Very well, I will explain the ceremony. It is quite simple. You must light three fires on this island and return you within the time limit. You have 12 hours. The sounding of the time bell will sig signal the start of the ceremony. It will end with the sound of the next bell. This concludes my explanation. There will be a delay before the ceremony can begin. Please wait until here until the time bell tomorrow morning. We can start then. Is that acceptable? Sounds good. Understand? Let's wait for the islands to rise precisely at the time of the 7 a.m. time bell. Though I get the good thing I didn't have to actually go somewhere and like rest until that time. Thank you for waiting. The time has come. You want to hear an explanation of the ceremony? Let's hear it. Very well, I will explain the ceremony. It is quite simple. Light the three fires and then return here before the time bell rings 12 hours from now. We must not set for an any service other than the roof of the temple during that time. You have 12 hours. The sounding of the time bell will signal the start of the ceremony and it will end with the sound of the next bell. This concludes my explanation. Alright, so now I guess we just uh, equip our Zora suit. Or we don't even need that one, so we can just... So we can go up the waterfall. I feel like we have plenty of time for this. Let's go up. And we come over here and light this on fire. And now, oh crap, I almost, almost fell in the water. I'm sure that would have counted. And now let's go this way. to these waterfalls. Good. Go up. And then over here, the, here's the next cap, the fire that we need to, well, we need to shoot a fire at it. Now we go this way. Hopefully we can make it towards the, the waterfall without falling. I think we're fine. I'm gonna have to be a bit cold doing this because I can't get any of my uh, warm clothing. to this waterfall.
And now up here, there's the third fire that we need to make. Now we head back to this waterfall, and we're, I think we're done now, so we've lit all the three fires and we just head back to the construct. I think we did alright. We didn't even touch the ground once. <laughs> now back over here. Back to you. Well done, you have proven yourself capable. I will now tell you the story of the Great Sky Island as promised. The Temple of Time and the land it sits upon were once found on the surface of the of the world. It, this, this has changed. It's land in the lands of Sarani and now float in the sky. There is a reason for this. The hero who will defeat the Demon King will one day awaken at this very site. This site must be kept safe from the Demon King and his followers. It was therefore raised high in into the sky. The tremendous power of the stages accomplished this feat long ago. That is the story of the Great Sky Island. And we got Zonai Fabric. The sages who ra raised this island landed the sky. Directed me to this, give this token to you, to the one who heard my story. It is now yours. All right, now this quest is complete. So now we can take uh, put this again. Uh, yeah, put this too. So now I'm going to see, try to find another quest that I can start, at least start for next episode. Okay, so now for the next quest is we actually have this side quest over here, Manny's Beloved, that we started back at, at Hatino Village. So let us head over here. Okay, so first off, before I come uh, complete this quest, I do want to go... Over to a well over here because we need some. I already know we need some frogs for this. So let's head up here. I think you need 10 frogs. Did I take a picture of this yet? Yes, I did. I didn't. I don't need to. I already took a picture of the frogs. Come on, froggies. Only found one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to continue to find these frogs in the next part, guys. So. If you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a like, and post a comment about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more Let's Play 4, The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.